Hello and welcome back to the Be Joan Style channel. Today's video is going to be a trend talk. I'm going to talk all about the things that I am majorly crushing on that are then ending up in my closet that I'm collecting a lot of them. Talk about them and then I'm going to take those items and style up an outfit to show you how I'm currently wearing that trend. I just want to say thank you to Scentbird for being the sponsor to today's video. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that actually allows you the opportunity to shop over 600 brands. You can choose a new designer fragrance every single month for just $16. It's a flexible subscription so you can choose to skip a month whenever you want and you can actually upgrade and have two or three options sent to you every month so that you can play around with some different scents. Perfumes can be so expensive. The one I'm currently wearing, Chloe, I just looked online and it was $150 and I couldn't imagine bringing home an entire bottle of perfume and then after a few days I really don't love the scent. So with Scentbird you get to really try it out, make sure you love it, and then if you want to invest in that more expensive bottle of perfume, you can. And they work with top designer brands like Gucci and Prada, but then they even have some of the indie brands like Vince Camuto or even the Harmonist, so you really have such an amazing selection to choose from. And what's really fun is that you actually can discover new fragrances by taking the quiz on their website. Based off your preferences, your previous purchases, and the answers from your quiz, they're going to suggest some different fragrances that they think you'll love. It's really cute. It comes in this little scent word bottle. You can actually see, pull it out so much perfume. And then I chose this month the Chloe Nomad. It's on my body right now. And I love it. It has like an oaky smell from the oak moss, but then also a little bit of a twist with freesia and then Mirabelle liqueur. I might be saying that wrong, but I like it because it's like this oaky citrusy smell, which I love. And I've been really wanting to try out this scent. So now I know that I love it and I can invest in the whole bottle or let my husband know to get it for me for Mother's Day. And my second scent is the Burberry Brit and I love this one as well. It has again very citrusy with some lime and some pear but then it's mixed with a sweet of almond, vanilla, and some sugar. So I guess I like it a little bit citrusy and a little bit sweet and I'm loving that one as well. I was also excited to try a new scent. This is by Valmont. This is Secret Bamboo and it has a really nice like green apple smell with heliotrope and also some aquatic notes. So I'm, I'm really excited to try this one out. And then also Kenzie by Kenzie, I wanted to try out. It's more of a fruity smell with juicy peach, mandarin in it. And then it mixes in some floral smells with rose, jasmine, and violet. So much fun. It's like always playing dress up. You're just trying out different scents. Make sure to click the link below and use the code STYLE30. You'll get 30% off your first month. So that's only $11 for your first month. And I'm really excited to keep trying out my scents and I would love to know if you guys end up with any that you really love. So I think now we should talk about a few of the trends that I'm loving, that I'm crushing on, and that are majorly getting collected in my closet. One of them I'm wearing right now, so I'm going to show you what the item is and then how I've worn it. Something that I'm loving right now are cargo pants. You guys have heard me talk about them and I've been finding them in a lot of my thrifting videos. And I love how Louis Vuitton had a ton of cargo pants on their runway and that just really got my brain sparked, made me want to start collecting them. These are my current favorite pair. These are old Jordache. You can see the little detail of the tag down here and it's got these really amazing pocket details, even contrasting, stitching, and just really fun and interesting. 
The way that I'm wearing it today and something that I love to do with cargo pants is actually doing a juxtaposition of wearing it with something more fancy or a different era, something like that, and then mixing it together. So today I did a vintage 1980s, very fun, brightly colored abstract print shirt that cinches in the waist. It actually comes with the two piece and I thought it would be fun to put this on with the cargo pants and make it a little more ladylike. I threw on my favorite little green sandals to this look and then just some fun gold accessories, these abstract gold earrings, two little necklaces right there. So it's a fun mix to do with cargo pants is to take, you know, the idea of the opposite and put it together. back in my room and in my closet and I've been talking a lot about vests lately and in particular instead of the sweater vest that we saw a lot during the winter this is the idea of the waistcoat which is a lot more cinched and it would often be seen worn with a suit a three-piece suit but I am wearing it on its own and you guys have seen me find this amazing floral vest, which I love, and I love the fun floral print. This is another favorite. I thrifted this a little while ago, and it's this suede camel colored, very shrunken vest, and I've been loving wearing this. I've worn this a lot, and I think I actually might style this one up today just because it's speaking to my styling brain. I love to give it a little bit of some western flair. I like to wear this on its own, so I think this one will be fun to play with today, but let me just show you a few other of the things that I'm loving when it comes to vests. I love just a good classic menswear waistcoat vest. This one's chocolate brown, which is really fun to play with. And even for the summer, I feel like this could really work well with styling. I love the idea of this paired with some khaki or um, camel colored for more of a neutral look, but also this could be really fun with some bright pops of color. So wearing a chocolate brown vest with more of a fun colored trouser pant or a printed skirt, this is a great idea as well. To give you a little bit of an idea of how to wear a waistcoat vest, I am going to style up this suede one. up the waistcoat and let's check out this very western inspired look that I came up with. Whenever I don't know what to wear I honestly just love to channel some western feelings with getting dressed and so it started with of course the suede vest. I loved the idea of pairing it over this very just simple menswear shirt that has some nice pinstripes to it. It almost looks like a men's pajama top. This feels like a ranch shirt somehow. It just feels like a working shirt that's been out on the farm. And so I liked pairing the shrunken waistcoat vest over top. And then I paired it with some of my favorite old 90s, almost kind of brown, like a really washed brown denim. It even has the great knee hole right there that just has come through time and wearing these so often. I went with my snakeskin boots because I always love a good snakeskin boot moment. And then added my bolo tie right here with a B. And I thought it would be fun to mix it up and wear it more as a necklace style instead of, you know, worn buttoned up here at the top. More spring styling it with, with it right there. Okay, let's pop back into my closet and check in with the next trend that I'm loving. loving is an accessory. I'm going to pull it out of my accessory drawer. And if you watch Styling on the Fly, you saw that I 
talked about wearing ties. I don't even know how this started, honestly. I just all of a sudden loved the idea of wearing a tie, and I love this one in particular because it's a little clip-on tie, probably for a little boy, and I love how exaggerated and wide this one is. I can of course steal from my husband's ties anytime I want, but I really loved this one. So this is definitely a little trend that I'm crushing on right now, and that is styling up men's ties. And I think I'll have some fun and style up this baby for you. This is an idea I had with this tie was to pull out one of my favorite blouses that's a tropical print that this was going to look amazing with if I can find it. Okay, I found it. So I love the idea of this vintage Cacharel shirt worn with this tie. Now I need to figure out what else is going to go with it, but how much fun is that? I just figured out the perfect pair of pants to wear with this. Let's give it a little Gucci magic with some 70s appeal. So I'm going to pull on this very tailored jacket to just balance out the goodness. Wouldn't be complete without Brandon Garnett, big Dior. The tie! I love this tie with this amazing Cacharel shirt. I gave it all of the 70s Gucci goodness. Decided to pair it with this chocolate brown, very 70s tailored jacket. And these amazing navy bell bottom pants. I paired it with these shoes that feel springtime, a little Gucci with the gaudy gold goodness on it. And then, I mean, come on, look at that tie. The tie makes it so much fun. I did just simple accessories. No, no, I didn't. I didn't do simple. I did big, huge pearl. And then I did the Grand and Garnet massive sunnies. You can see, I mean, the tie to me just makes it extra fun. I'm obsessed. I am majorly crushing on ties right now. Let's go see what else I'm crushing on. Something else that I just cannot get enough of wearing is ball caps. And specifically this one for me, but in general, just wearing a ball cap. I mean, they're just so much fun. I love this with the juxtaposition of more of a dressed up look. So let's figure something out to style up with the ball cap. Also a big runway that did this a lot was Celine. You can go check them out. They did so many of their looks with ball caps and it was so cute. So definitely being inspired by what was happening on Celine for spring. With the ball cap, I like the idea of going with the schoolgirl route. So this fun plaid button down, it's got the red in it. And then we're gonna go from here. And I like the idea of pulling on my plaid skirt, very schoolgirl. <laughs> Loving the idea of some ladylike heels. This is another thing I've been talking about. I'm loving the pointy toe pumps again, the 80s pump. Why not add a blazer? Make it better with the blazer. More prints, more fun. Just some simple hoops. And I had a spontaneous idea to throw on a crossbody bag just to pop more yellow. Channeling some schoolgirl because of the ball cap, but definitely a little bit ladylike. The ball cap inspired the schoolgirl story. I loved the idea of mixing in all the different plaids. So a plaid button down, 
a plaid pleated skirt, a tartan print blazer. Then we're throwing on the 80s polka dot heels. And finally, just a fun little crossbody bag to, you know, give it a little more athleisure, feel more schoolgirl. I love the big primary colors that are happening in this outfit. And I'm obsessed. I cannot stop wearing the ball cap this season. And then finally, I'm loving the polo shirt. I've been talking about it a lot. This is one of my classic vintage ones, but I have gotten a new one that I wanna style up. You saw me find this Hawaii one. I love this one. I love that one. But there is also one more. And this is from Four Days. They make amazing organic, sustainable clothing. And I love this just yummy oat colored polo, shrunken polo. So this is the one I want to style up today, but polo shirts in general are just still making my heart skip a beat. I mean, how cute is this? Of course, it would be really fun with this pleated skirt, but I definitely want to style up something new with the polo. I think I'm going to do something a little bit different with this. I'm going to dress it up as if I'm going to dress it down, which would be the weekend when I'm not going to fully get dressed, but I want to be super comfy. And so I am pairing it with my khaki colored sweatpants. And then I'm thinking, how else would I dress it up for the weekend? You know, maybe I'm going to run out and grab coffee and I'm not going to really fully get dressed. I think I'm going to grab my white New Balance sneakers. Also going to grab this National Park bucket hat. a little chillier in the morning. I'm gonna just grab this denim jacket that I cropped. So much fun. I love how this turned out. Loving the polo shirt and the cropped version. And then this is so how I like to dress down when I wanna dress up a dress down look. And I go into like full weekend mode and, but still just wanna play dress up. So pairing it with these really fun sweatpants. These are from Urban Outfitters. I have three colors, they're my absolute favorites. I am then pairing them with the New Balance sneakers and these are just cute little pastel socks that I think I also got at Urban Outfitters. And then this is a denim jacket I've had forever and I've cropped it years ago. I like it as just like a fun throw on whenever I need one more little layer. And then I love this little cream colored bucket hat that's a national park bucket hat. And it's just a fun throw on to this look. Perfect for brunch, perfect for hanging out. And honestly, I'll probably stay in this the rest of the day. All right, those are five things that I am loving right now. Those are five trends. Those are things I'm crushing on. And as you can tell, I've collected a few of them and probably will keep my eye out for them. I don't know if you all get this way, but once I kind of become obsessed with an idea, then as I'm thrifting, I end up finding more and more and I can't stop. And I just kind of get on that train <laughs> and I end up with a fun little collection of them. And so those are the things that I'm crushing on right now. Those are the trends that I'm crushing on right now. And I had so much fun styling up different outfit ideas to go with each of those trends that I'm loving. Hopefully that gave you some different ideas on how you could wear them as well. All right, that's it for today. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel. I have new videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And finally, always play dress up and I'll see you guys later. Bye!